Hi everyone, this is Polly from Polly's Pretties coming at you with another DIY. I like to make wands for the different holidays and here's one that I just finished. I'm going to show you kind of how I made this one. So what you're going to need is two cupcake liners of the same kind, the same size. And you can use anything for your little decorative piece on the front. I'm going to use this little wooden reindeer. And then you're going to need one of the paper straws. Now, what you do to start this is like I've done here. You take and lay your cupcake liners flat against each other and then slowly glue them shut, leaving just a little space for you to slip this straw right up in there. What I do with my straws, especially since I know that they have to go up in there, is I take a little bit of this hot glue, let it get down in the straw a bit, and then you'll see me smash, very carefully because I don't want hot glue on my hand either, smash the straw piece down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and insert this straw piece in here, but what I'm doing to help hold it in place is using the hot glue from the end of the straw to hold it there. Now, with that being said, that's not gonna be enough to just hold it together. So I'm gonna add a little bit more hot glue here on the straw base, just like so, and then lay the paper gently down. Ooh, and do be careful, because hot glue is hot. Yeah, like I haven't said that before. And then slowly finish running a hot glue line along your cupcake liners to close them up <clears throat> to make like a seam if you will almost just doing it without sewing and of course try not to get the hot glue on you because yeah it hurts a little bit all right moving on around because I'm going to finish this side here too again just run your little line of hot glue just enough to close this up and finish it off Because the idea is to make sure that it matches up. Okay. Now, what you have right here, without going any further even, is a wand that has a front and a back. You don't have all the ugly, yucky showing. Now, as you saw, I was just picking off little hot glue tails and odds and ends little things like that. Because, well, I don't want them on mine. I don't think they're pretty hanging out there. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, instead of using the white pom-poms like I did on Santa here, I think I'm going to use some gold tinsel here, if I can get a hold of it. Yeah, if. Sure. There it is. Always the other end that I don't pick, right? And this was just a dollar, and I think I got it at Dollar Tree, maybe even. Maybe Walmart, I don't know. But it's just decorative tinsel, and there's nine feet in this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start here, the center, and run a little glue line, just a little ways, and start slowly laying down my tinsel to give it a little bit more of a decorative edge, not so plain. Why? Because mm, I'm weird like that. And this will take a little bit of glue. I'm going to go ahead and warn you of that because it did on the last one. But I wanted to show you guys this while I was doing it. And I thought, well, tonight would be a perfect night. Since I seem to have more patience tonight. <laughs> okay. Get that back over there. And again, just lightly press this down with your finger. It doesn't have to be, you know, completely perfect or anything. Because, well, we're not perfect. And make sure that any hot glue strings or little bulgy pieces you do pull off. And I'm going to keep trying to go around here and get this side done for you so I can show you. There we go. And again, right around the edge, just making sure that it lays down just like so. And that any hot glue that's sticking out from the back end gets removed. Just like this. Alright, and 
let's continue on around here. The idea is you're hiding the rough edges of your cupcake markers. And it makes it a little bit prettier to look at. You want to let it overlap just a little here at the end, but not too much. That way it just looks finished. giblets here. Okay, I think we got those. And a little string there. And I'll show you what the front looks like so far. This is what the front of our little uh, wand is looking like. Now, I'm not going to take and show you how to put the gold on the back because we just did the front, but what I am going to go ahead and do is show you how I add the reindeer on and how I place him. Let me get, there it is, another glue stick in my gun here. On the back, you can see there's this yucky tag, and they don't come off really well. Plus, you want to make your uni or your unicorn, yeah, excuse me, your reindeer. Wow, unicorns are for Christmas now. I guess they could be. But you want to give it enough glue to hold this guy really good. You don't want him coming off. Because, remind, reminding some that these do, in some ways, stand up in your like vases or glasses okay and there you have that now that part is done now normally what I would do next is I have a little package of bows here that I'm using and you could use anything you choose you could use ribbon or what have you but I'm kind of liking the bows like I did with Santa, so I'm going to loosen up a couple of these. Pull them off here. What I do with mine, because I don't want all this gold there, is I twist them twice. Once, twice, then cut, and then that little piece that's left usually is small enough you can just bend it right into the back of your bow and it hides it right away you can't even tell it's there then all you have to do put a little dab of hot glue just like so find the center of your wand where you'd want it and press And there you have it. There's your wand. Now, if you wanted to, you could continue like I did with Santa and put the gold, like we did here on the front, on the back, and again, put another bow down here to help finish it up and make it look more finished and more uh, done for when you sit it in your glass or your jar or whatever it is you're going to use. But I thought I'd show you this tonight because, well, a lot of folks out there have seen some of the wands I make, 
and been asking me, can you please start doing tutorials for them? So, here's the first one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to have more folks with us, always. And if you see something I do in a project share that I haven't done a tutorial on, you'd like to see a tutorial on, please leave me a comment and let me know. I hope you're having a great Saturday, and I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.